Ever since season 4 of Stranger Things released, I was convinced that Steve Harrington was not going to die in season 5, just because I thought him and Nancy were going to get back together, and it kind of seemed like the Devers were teasing us with his deaths in season 3 and season 4, like they made him almost die a few times, but he didn't die, so I was like, alright, he's not going to die, like Steve Harrington's going to survive in season 5, and we're all going to be happy because one of our favorite characters ever is going to live. But after some recent thoughts and recent time spending on the subject, I think I've officially changed my answer and after some recent news as well from the cast and like leaked pictures and leaked information about season five not any spoilers or anything uh, I've changed my mind so we're going to talk about that today and all the other possibilities regarding Steve Harrington's character. Before we get into the video, guys, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Let's go for 250 likes on this video. Join my Discord where we talk to new things every single day. We're over a thousand members over there, so thank you guys for that. And check out my website, Relay.News, where I have a free newsletter over there that I release every single Sunday. And without further ado, let's get right into this video. So first, I want to talk about why I originally thought that Steve Harrington was not going to die in Season 5. And it's pretty simple. In Season 4, he almost died, but he didn't die. And then after Season 4, Episode 6, The Dive, where he almost died, uh, died where, when he dove into the water, went down into the gate, got taken in by the upside down vines like through the water and taken into the upside down and was getting eaten alive by bats and stuff i thought he was gonna die or i didn't think he was gonna die but i thought it was a possibility that he was going to die right there but he didn't die and then after that episode in season four episode nine or eight or seven either one it was after the episode him and nancy were connecting again they were clearly bonding. They clearly showed feelings for each other, which is why I'm so confused. And like, I thought Steve and Nancy were 100% going to get together. And put, to put the icing on the cake with that stuff, in season four, episode nine, Nancy and Jonathan were not really getting along. They were like saying like, oh yeah, they, they were just really awkward. The, that, the dynamic between those two were, was very awkward. Like Jonathan was lying about his college stuff and Nancy was saying or defending Steve and saying Steve's actually a nice guy. And it was like, all right, well that's done. Like Nancy and Steve are getting together. But then because the Duffers like recently released pictures about season five and one of the pictures was Nancy and Jonathan together in the car and Nancy and Jonathan together like multiple different times and it was pretty obvious that they were hinting that Nancy and Jonathan are going to stay together in season five so this means that Steve is not going to find a love interest in season five most likely like most likely I don't think Steve Harrington is going to find his woman I, I'm not positive but I'm pretty sure like he's not going to find a woman because we know what Steve thinks about woman and who he wants his woman to be it's obviously Nancy He's talked about it like a thousand times. Not only has he talked about it like a thousand times, he has hinted about it a thousand times. Even Dustin like was talking to Steve in the show like I am talking about Steve right now. He was like, he was like, dude, you clearly still have feelings for Nancy. You just got to go talk to her or whatever, like, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. And then Steve was like, no, she's not interested in me, you know, playing it off or whatever. But Steve clearly still has feelings for Nancy and he clearly only likes Nancy. Like he wants to be with Nancy. And if Nancy's going to be with Jonathan, that makes me think that there's only one other option for Steve Harrington. And that is for Steve Harrington to die. Now, if you guys didn't know this, fun fact, I've posted about this before, but a lot of people still don't know, Steve Harrington was originally supposed to die in season one. You know how he was a bully and just douchebag, whatever. In season one, episode eight, that's when Steve Harrington was supposed to die. He was supposed to die in that fight where he went to the house and the Demogorgon came in. That's where he was supposed to die. Like that's how that's what I think. I didn't like that's not a specific fact, but it is a, spe uh, a specific fact that he was supposed to die in season one. So this makes me think that obviously they kept him alive because he was a fan favorite and Joe Keery is such a good actor. But maybe they just pushed off his death to the end of the show. And I know what a few of you guys are saying because Joe Keery has talked about this before. First of all, he said that well, not even first of all, just like the main thing that he said that really, really stuck out to me was, all I'm gonna tell you guys, he didn't say this, like this isn't the exact quote, but you guys can go look it up. He basically said like, all I can tell you guys is that is that Steve Harrington gets his happy ending. He, or like Joe Carey was, is satisfied with, with Steve Harrington's ending. It was something along those lines. Either way, he alluded to the fact that Steve Harrington was going to have his ideal ending, pretty much. I think that when he said that, when he alluded to the fact that Steve Harrington was going to have a happy ending, I think he purposely worded that 
in a weird way. Because in one light, we could think that he was saying that Steve Harrington is going to have a happy ending and Steve Harrington is going to live and live happily ever after. But in another way, we could think that Joe Keery was talking about how he thinks that Steve Harrington is having a happy ending or or Steve is going to be happy with the way his story is ending. I think he could be like wording it that way as well. And if that's the case, I definitely think Joe Keery could be talking about how Steve's going to sacrifice himself or speaking from Steve's perspective saying that like Steve's going to be happy because Steve's going to sacrifice himself for the group and save everyone he loves. And Steve always talks about like what is he going to do after after uh college and just with scoops ahoy and everything and all these in the family video jobs he was always just like yeah what am i gonna do go work with my dad in the law firm or whatever or just do this do that he always talked about how sort of his future was sort of ho hopeless and he can't get with nancy and he can't get a a real job and he's not in college or anything he's just stuck in hawkins with these kids and everything and the world's ending and it, he already it seems to me like he always sort of alluded to the fact that his future was sort of you know dim and dark so maybe that if he if he gets in a situation where you know his friends are in danger dustin's in danger or the whole group is in danger and he's the only one there that could sacrifice himself i think he would do it i think steve harrington would sacrifice himself 100 and i think that and i think that's what joe curie could have been talking about in that interview when he said that steve harrington's going to have a happy ending i think he could have been talking about like steve harrington's going to have a heroic sacrifice and he's going to save a lot of people and that's like his version of the happy ending now obviously he could have just simply been saying like steve's gonna have a happy ending and he's gonna live but i have a hard time seeing like steve just having a happy ending and then still being single because the whole storyline with steve is that he's just single he can't find his love and th not the whole story but like his love life you know it's just like how he's single he's lonely he doesn't he hasn't found love he just like has these one night stands and everything and can't find his actual soulmate and then he always like alludes to nancy so I, I have a hard time saying that if he doesn't end up with nancy that he's just gonna have a happy ending I, I don't see that i feel like if he doesn't end up with nancy i could see him sacrificing himself for nancy and jonathan to be honest with you i could definitely see that because we already know that nancy and jonathan and steve have scenes together and steve's going to be driving them in the upside down because of the uh, pics that the, the pictures that Duffers posted on their Instagram, we know that they're gonna have scenes together. Like that could be another possibility. Nancy gets in trouble. Steve's like, oh my god, the love of my life. She's with her love of her life though, so I don't have any hope. I'm gonna sacrifice my life for her so she, so, so she doesn't die and she lives happily ever after. I don't think it's ridiculous to say all that. I think that is genuinely what might happen. But I want to know your thoughts about Steve Arrington's character and if you think he's going to die or survive in season five of Stranger Things. Because honestly, my mind changes a lot, but over the past month or so, I've been pretty set on the fact that he's going to die and I could definitely see that I, I could definitely see it going that way. I appreciate you guys watching and make sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn up notifications, and check out my newsletter on my website, relate.news. As soon as you open the site, you'll be brought to this page right here and you'll see a spot to open or to submit your email. Just type in your email, click submit, and you'll be added to my email list. And every single Sunday, you will get brand new exclusive Stranger Things content with Stranger Things discussions, facts, updates, theories, and much, much more. So I'd really appreciate that. That helps me out a lot. Like I said, I appreciate you guys watching and make sure to have a great rest of your day. Peace out.